Okay, over the years we've seen some really, really dodgy looking electric cars, things that you wouldn't want to drive anywhere, but I'm sure you've all heard about the Tesla, and I'm looking at it today. I've got next to me right here, Aaron Platchen, who's a product manager for Tesla. How are you doing, Aaron? Great. Um, I want to ask you a few questions about the Tesla, first of all. Uh, everyone knows it's very, very fast, but I want to get down to the nitty gritty about the technology behind it. So um, tell me about the, the way it's powered. Yeah, so the, the car is powered by 6,831 lithium ion batteries uh, put together into a 54 kilowatt hour battery pack that powers a, uh, that's about 415 volts uh, that, that, is pa that then uh, sends the power through uh, pow uh, power electronics through to the uh, AC induction electric motor. Well, that sounds complicated and a little bit dangerous as well. Is there any chance people might get electrocuted? We're in Britain, where the weather isn't too great. <laughs> no, no, there's no problem. We've done we've done lots of lots of water testing, and uh, and the battery pack is is uh, isolated from the car if you were in any kind of an accident. So it's uh, you know much safer than your your gas tank. Uh, what about actually controlling the car? Is there, is there any satellite navigation systems? Or I saw like a little screen down by the driver's side. What is that? Yeah, that's uh, there's a little touch screen. Uh, the the sat nav is actually. Um, done through our JVC head unit, um, but uh, the the touch screen is where you would. Uh, it's a it's an interface that allows you to uh, to control when you charge, how many amps you're charging, uh, and you know see the temperatures of different subsystems in the car uh, and, and everything. It's the it's the very robust kind of user interface of the car. So it controls when you charge. How would that be beneficial to the customer? Uh, you know, during during the night, you can you can get lower uh, electricity rates. So you can set the car to begin charging at midnight when your cheaper electricity rates kick in, okay. uh, and it also helps to level out the the usage of power on the grid. Cool, sounds good. So when's the Tesla coming to the UK? Uh, deliveries will start in May 2009, and we are taking reservations now for uh, a limited edition uh, 2009 cars, and we'll uh, increase that production in 2010. Cool, I'll take three. Sign me up. Uh, sounds good. <laughs> Thanks, Aaron. Of course.